So I recently picked up this Makita bit holder that goes with uh, basically any Makita impact driver or power drill. And uh, sometimes this comes with the drill, other times you gotta buy it. I think it costs like a dollar or two dollars, something that would just be at the checkout counter, uh, but you can find it online. It's basically a little plastic shoe that goes right on your drill bit, uh, sorry, on your uh, drill or your driver, and uh, it kind of fits on pretty nicely right here at the foot, kind of just right here. You see that it has a sort of little cut out there. There's a little pop out here and uh, works right there. Clearly, if you have a, uh, a belt loop here, Makita includes a metal belt holder or belt loop, whatever you want to call it, with uh, some of the drivers and some of the drills. If you have that, you're going to have to put it on the other side. So uh, this one, I don't have it on there. I don't really need a uh, belt holder with my impact driver. So I'm going to head and put it on the left side of the drill. Very simple. There's a hole right here. So you got to get this in place. It's okay, you know, like clearly this piece is here and this lines up with here. Uh, feels a little nicer like this, but the hole is in the other direction. So you just put it here, get the screw, screw will pop through. And this thing is just made of plastic. It's not made of metal. It's not 3D printed or anything like that. And It only attaches on the one side. So all we need to do is tighten this enough that it doesn't wiggle or loosen up, but uh, it's, it is gonna have a little bit of movement. That is definitely possible. We'll make this nice and tight. It doesn't fit as well as that, that uh, belt holder or whatever. That thing is really goes on nicely. Uh, yeah, a little bit of movement, but this piece right here is rubberized. So I don't imagine that it's going to ever be perfect. It always have some play, but we just want to decrease as much as possible without cracking the plastic. This thing is pretty tough, so I don't think I'm going to crack it, but I won't tighten this down all the way. And there you go. It's not impede the activity of the drill at all. And then take that off. No problem. This is the three amp hour. It won't matter if you use the five or 2.5 or the four, whatever, it uh, it has the same clearance right here and has, you know, a bit of clearance there, so it's not a problem. Clearly, it's not getting in the way. Okay, does it actually hold bits though? I have this Bosch kit. Here are some bits. The longer ones, like what's this? This is a, a tall R3, it's like a square drive. Will that fit in there? Yeah, it's in there, no problem. And that's an extra large bit. If I need to grab it, it comes right out. No problem. So a longer impact bit will work. What if I wanna put in a shorty, like this little PH2, Phillips head two. And I think that's what's on there. No, a long, longer one is on there now. So I have the magnet thing on there so the little short one sort of will work there's some pressure there i don't love it but possibly will work it's pretty hard to get out you gotta slide it in and out which is not ideal so Skinny and short will not work. Let's try short and wide, like this PH3. You wanna just slide it in here. Yeah, I think that's in there. It's not going anywhere. In fact, it's gonna be a little hard to get out. Not quite ideal, but the, the wider ones will fit in there. And then I think really what you're looking for is Kind of medium length bit, something like this PH2 impact bit. Has about an inch of reach right there. 
This one you're gonna slide right in and that's in there really nicely. Really firm. It's biting on the hex bit right here. If I need to get it, pulled it out. It's a little harder to pull out than I would have liked, but this thing may wear in in time, or maybe you're supposed to pull it. Like it says right here, pull it. Presumably that means pull it in and out instead of pulling it out, uh, you know, pulling it vertically. You're supposed to pull it horizontally. So I guess you should follow the rules. Yeah, that's in there. And I was able to retrieve it. So probably leave it like that. Have pretty access to, uh, pretty good access to a Phillips bit. These things are always wearing out and breaking. Uh, and then I'll probably add one more in there. I tend to use a fair bit of these. That's a square drive. Although I like the, I think that's it, R3. See if we can get that one in there. So there you go, two bits ready to go. A backup and then a square drive for switching off. And that is the Makita bit holder. Again, it costs two or three bucks. Thanks for watching.